Hey guys, so I want to show you a quick tip uh, of a new tool that's in Revit 2020, and that's the fly command. Um, so right now I'm, I am in the Arch or Autodesk Architectural Advanced Model, and you can find that on the Autodesk site, or if you've downloaded uh, Revit, sometimes it comes with it. Now, to access this, you'll have to go into a 3D view, and I've got a 3D view open and maximized, but if I pull this over, and show you this. So in the properties of that 3D view, just make sure it's set to perspective and not orthographic. So you can actually use this tool because if it's set to perspective and just for a visual example, if we switch that over, you can see it actually goes away and uh, from the uh, navigation bar over here. And we'll switch that back to perspective so that actually comes back and we can use it. So there's two ways to access this command. We can click on it or we can actually right click and uh, from there, it, actually, it, it, it will uh, activate it. And you can see over here that it's, it's blue. Now, um, I find that when I activate it this way, it works a little bit better. But it all depends, um, I guess, on how Revit feels that day because this tool seems to be um, a little bit unstable. So keep that in mind when you're using it because you may find that it doesn't work. Sometimes if I'm in that view, it will just not uh, fly at all. Um, or if I have that command to activate it, it'll just not fly. It'll let me rotate around, but it won't actually let me move it. So, and then sometimes if it is activated this way, it'll move and then stop every like few feet. And then I'll have to re, you know, click the W command. Uh, so with that said, uh, we'll go ahead and mess around with it for a second. And I'll so show you one of the main settings to uh, just keep in mind and remember. So I'll maximize this. And again, you know, I just jumped into a 3D view. I'm inside the building. And, you know, you may want to use this if you're navigating the model and you're, let's, for example, you're modeling some ductwork. Uh, this is a nice way to coordinate it. Uh, really quickly, you can have this, you know, this view off to another window or another uh, monitor. And then from there, just, you know, coordinate your model in that way so you don't have to create a whole bunch of views. Um, so with this activated, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to activate it this way. I'm going to click on it. And then now you can see we have this, um, uh, our, our mouse, so the two mouse heads, kind of. And you can click the screen and, and, and move it around any direction you want. And it kind of works in, a, in the pan way. So uh, as you saw in some of the other tools, like the... If you've messed with the walk command, if you select on it, you can keep dragging up and it'll it'll you know go up all the way up to the top and then start back at the bottom again so you can go faster. This tool doesn't work in that way. So if you pan right, I mean sorry, it does work in that way. So if you pan right, you can keep uh, kind of shifting it around. And then same goes for if you're looking up. You can just keep moving it in that direction. Uh, it all, also, it works in a way, uh, if you're used to panning, you can just, you know, kind of click and then shift it around that way. So however way you work, uh, however way works for you, generally I like to kind of keep it in the middle here as, so that when I'm flying around it works a little bit easier. I, I kind of know where this, uh, what way I'm pointing it. If I shift it over here, I can see um, where it's pointing. It doesn't work that great. Uh, and you'll see when we start to move it. And to move it, you'll click the WASD or the up, down command or up, down, left, right commands. Uh, in this example, I'll use the WASD. So currently I'm clicking W and you can see, depending on where I drag that, um, it will move in that direction. So if I'm looking up, it'll go up and forward. If I'm looking down, it'll go down and forward. If I'm looking directly, um, down it'll go directly down so depending on where you're looking is how to actually draw it or i mean move it so keep that in mind when you're when you're flying around the model but you know i really like this tool i think it's really fun and easy to use uh, for the most part again it is a little unstable but hopefully it gets improved in later uh, versions of revit or at least the dot releases 
And so that's pretty much it for this command. You, so you activate it either by clicking on it or if we click escape um, or by holding down the uh, right mouse uh, button. And then from there you have it activated and you can start moving. Uh, so the other thing to keep in mind, or at least the setting to keep in mind when you're using this tool, is the speed setting. So if you find that this is actually too uh, fast for you or too slow for you, you'll want to update the speed. But you, as you see, there's not really any speed here. And if you click this little drop-down arrow, it doesn't give you any options. You actually have to go to the navigation button and then into uh, this uh, drop-down and then options. And then from there, you can update the speed factor. So depending on what you have here, it, it's going to affect uh, the flywheel uh, in that way. So if it's set down to 0.1, then it'll, it'll uh, be the slowest. If it's at 50, it'll be the, the fastest. So just kind of mess around and get it to where you're comfortable. Um, but that option is in there. So we'll go back into that fly command, and we'll just kind of fly around for a second. So you can see uh, how it works. It's really easy. It's a nice way to navigate the model. So if I want to get up, like maybe up into uh, this plenum space, I can just fly up there um, really easily. So it's, I mean, it's a really nice tool for navigating the model. So definitely check it out. Let me know if you have any questions. But uh, that's all I got. Uh, thanks a lot for watching.